Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Chris with Dream Studios. This time we're doing a new model presentation. So let's get started. This video serves as an introduction to the newest model I 3D sculpted, the Palomino from the Black Hole. The files are now available through my website, as well as information on the physical kit. Let's have a look at the features of this model, which you can learn more about by following the links in this video's description. Since the animations were made for this Palomino, I made one pretty big change. That's not a huge change, but it's a it's an accuracy change. Is I squashed down the lower hull. This my original. Even though I traced the the, uh, the blueprints and the photos of the film used model, this part got a little bit tall in the final look. It looked a little tall, so. I squashed it down so now you can see the difference here so just know that these animations are a little bit outdated old lower hull walk pan new pan that you'll be 3d printing here on the right side slight difference but I think it'll it'll make it much more accurate let me give you guys a couple tips on 3d printing so your file pack when you unzip all the folders you'll have an STL pack curated photos, decal folder, and let's open up this STL folder. What I want you to pay attention to are the engines are labeled 1, 2, and 3. The trusses 1, 2, and 3. Make sure that you print these individually. There are slight differences in the models. So make sure these are brought in individually and printed individually. So let me show you the best orientation for the truss. I printed this a few times, had some failures, and I want you guys to have successful prints the first try. So learn by my mistakes. So I'm gonna lay this truss down like this. So this L is sitting here like this. I'm gonna rotate it up, back to rotation, I'm going to bring this guy up kind of high, like this. Not all the way vertical, but pretty darn high. Then I'm going to go into my support. I'm mostly under default here with supports. Let's see what this looks like, just with the default settings. Uh, I'm using, uh, by the way, this is Chido Box. I'm in the Chido Box Pro 1.2, but this will work just the same with regular, the free Chido Box. All right, so I'm seeing supports. I'm going to actually increase the density. Okay, I, I am a little more happy with this density. So I just want to make sure that when you print this, especially at default scale, I've got small tips here. As a matter of fact, I might reduce 
the upper diameter of that tip from four to three. Let's go ahead and resupport that. I've got a point, uh, point four usually. I reduce that down to a point three just so it's a little bit finer tips so you can separate this. And then you just have one end here to sand. So that is the best way to support the trusses. And let's go ahead and delete that. Let's open up the body, the main hull. So you have two versions of this hull. I'll, I'll, I'll just open them both up here. We have a hollowed version and we have a solid version. The solid is provided here mostly for FDM prints. So if you want to print FDM style, you might want to print that solid one. Otherwise, with the resin printer, you want to play with this one. Let me go ahead and change this profile to a Jupiter. So this will print in one piece on a Jupiter. If I rotate it, these two little knobs here, this is the biggest protrusion on this part. So just get those knobs somewhere somewhere over here. So we have these boxes here contained. So for this guy, I'm going to give him a slight tilt here. That's about a 14, that's 16 degree tilt. That should be fine. I'm going to go ahead into my support. I'll leave my angle here, my density at a, a 46 setting. The tips, I'm still over here at four point. I think I might bring that, that tip up to maybe a 6.0. Let's go ahead and run that. And here we go. I can come underneath this model and check out the density, the locations of these supports. I like to put a little more support on the edges just to make sure that these print nice and flat. So I'll go through this model from underneath like this. Just add a few more. It's looking a little sparse here, here, just add a few here, just on those edges so that they print nice and flat. And then sometimes if I'm seeing this over here, just in case there's any support failures, I might add maybe a couple under here, like one, two, just like that, just to, just to ensure that that's going to print well. And the rest of that looks just fine to me. All right, there's a few tips on supporting your models for 3D printing, guys. I hope that helps. Thank you for your great and kind support. Follow the links in this video's description to see more of this project. If you did enjoy the content for today, please leave a like and subscribe to be notified of future content, including a review and build-up tutorial for this very project. See you next time.